20 minutes past the hour. Got a lot coming up on Wake Up. Whoa! <laughs> Ever wonder how all the rain across the southeast impacts insects? Coming up, that makes them huge. Coming up in just 60 <laughs> seconds, the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff brings us the science behind bees and rain. Alan Steph. Thank you so much, uh, Maria. Well, there's a new German monster movie that's changing the way we all look at nature. Some things are just too small for the eye to detect, obviously. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff found a photographer who can see the universe that exists below our fingertips. in a world so much more complex than we know, this hairy monster is actually quite familiar. Take a step back and now you know what it is. It's the common honeybee. Hard at work in the summer sun. Yeah, you can see their tongues, they have little red tongues. It's so cool. Beekeeper Linda Tillman. Puff of, puff of smoke in the door. Is in a hive every day. And this is heavy because it's covered with full of honey. But she's never seen video quite like this before. Because of the way it was filmed, what he really did was explore the body of the bee. I'm a photographer based uh, in the middle of Germany at Würzburg. Meet Stefan Diller, the man behind these stunning images of the natural world. Bees have hair all over their bodies, and including their eyeballs. Electron beam generation. Now, there have been electron microscope videos in the past, but... Mostly not in this quality like I'm doing now. So you can really see the definition of the leg and the definition of the thorax. It's helping Linda understand why her little girls are having trouble in rainy Atlanta. All that hair on her body probably operates, I don't know this as a fact, but my guess would be that all that hair operates as a disadvantage when water is collecting on her. Here's what we do know. Bees tend to stay home when it's raining. So we've had a real thin honey crop this year. Rain also makes their honey runny. Stick your finger in the comb. Right there, uh, yeah, and just taste It's crazy. It. Already this summer, much of the South is either 50% above normal rainfall or even getting twice as much rain as they usually do. None of the hives have done well during the bad weather. Beekeepers are always risking the stinger to take those close-up photos. Because my family all thought I was a little crazy to keep bees, and I thought, well, if I take some pictures, they can go and look and see what I'm doing. This new kind of movie making, it works for butterflies and tomato plants too, can change the way we understand nature. My intention is to make a movie ma to, to show the, the beauty of the micro world. Even if most of us want to stay far away from a buzzing hive. In Atlanta, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Cool stuff. All right, so let's find out where there's going to be rain as you head out the door this morning, and we won't see those bees buzzing. Thank goodness. New York City, let's start off.